we're going wedding dress shopping today. I'm super excited, have my hair all done, nice. So we're gonna go try out some dresses. I've been to a few boutiques already, so I'm gonna insert all that footage into this vlog for you guys to see the dresses that I tried on. Some of our appointments had to be rescheduled due to different restrictions in place where I live. But we are finally out and about again. So I think it's super fun to share with you guys all the dresses that I tried on, I really, really loved, but didn't choose. We're having a videographer for our wedding, and I'm definitely going to try and upload that video to the channel so you could all can see the outcome of all this wedding planning that we're doing. So come along with me today. We'll go to some different bridal shops and I hope you guys enjoy. So this was actually the very first dress that I tried on. I tried on this A-line silhouette with the crisscross back. Really pretty dress, just wasn't it. It was nice, just wasn't it. We moved on to a couple more local shops, some more A-line silhouettes. This one had a nice graphic lace. I just wasn't a fan of the little bar in the back. It just wasn't fitting me very well. Same with this one, really pretty. It had all these buttons going down the train, which is gorgeous. I just wasn't a fan of the lace. It was too small for me. Like the applique was just too, too busy. Same with a couple of the other dresses, like this little sparkly one. So we moved on. And then I tried on a couple of uh, dresses at this one, including a fit and flare silhouette. This one was stunning. I love this dress. If you were getting married on like a beach somewhere maybe, but I don't know. It just didn't fit the vibe of my wedding. And it just, it wasn't what I felt most comfortable in on the day of my wedding, but it looked, it looked great. This one was really pretty as well, but just again, like the applique, I was looking for something that had more of a bold graphic applique as opposed to like an intricate lacy flower uh, thing going on, <laughs> if I'm explaining myself or if I'm just talking nonsense, but um, really pretty just wasn't the vibe. So this dress had a nice full skirt, so it was like a fuller A-line. It was way too much, it was way too busy. The lining had its own lace, and then they put another lace on top of that with the overlay. Pretty silhouette, but just way too busy. And I found, going to a bunch of these stores, a lot of the dresses looked very similar, and if they weren't similar, it was the exact same dress. So I probably tried on some repeats in my whole dress finding adventure because I had a certain vibe. Like I really liked the applique, I really liked the A-line silhouette. I was just trying to find the right one. Like you can see there's a couple different dresses that had that crisscross back. I really like the one in the center frame here. It was called the Adelaide dress, I believe by, I want to say Morley, but I liked the applique. I liked how bold it was and that it went everywhere on the dress. It wasn't just on the bodice, it was all over the skirt. It was down the train and I really like this Adelaide dress and the sleeves were really pretty as well. At this next bridal shop, we tried on a silhouette that looked really similar to what we ended up getting. It wasn't the perfect dress for me, but it was stunning. I really, really liked it and I liked that it had the horse hair on the layers, so it kept the layers out. Um, this next dress I tried on had a really deep V in the front, which just didn't suit my silhouette, but it had the bold applique, floral applique that I was looking for. So it was kind of always like, I liked something about the dress, but not everything about the dress. Like I like the top and not the bottom, that kind of thing. Then we went to David's Bridal. We tried on a couple dresses there. This one had a really nice fit to the body. I just wasn't a fan of the underlying. It was kind of stripey, wasn't really feeling it. And then this next one, the florals were just a little too roughly cupcakey for me. Again with the crisscross and then the sparkly one. It just looks so nice. It just looked like you were a little fairy princess. Had my heart set on some floral appliques, so just wasn't the one for me, but I had a cute little slit in the side. This one with the cap sleeves was stunning as well. I feel like it looks so good on so many body types, but it just, I knew we were getting married in the heat of the summer and I would just be way too hot with sleeves. Then we hopped over to Kleinfeld's and this was the location at the Hudson's Bay in Toronto. A couple issues scheduling this appointment. I kept having to get shifted out, but we tried on some Disney princess dresses and they were absolutely stunning. Like look at the lace on this dress. And if the dress looks heavy, let me tell you it was. It was really heavy. I felt like I would probably take the whole entire forest with me. If you don't know, we got married in a forest. Wasn't the vibe, but stunning dresses. And same with this off the shoulder dress. I love that 3D floral applique. Like 
oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. Quite honestly, out of our price range, and I knew that the off the shoulder look wasn't something that I was looking for because my skin is so sensitive. Literally anything that touches it, it's gonna cause red marks. So anything that's like moving on my skin throughout the whole day is gonna be a big issue to me. Even if the fabric isn't scratchy, I just know my skin and I know that would be an issue. So stunning dresses, absolutely beautiful, just not what I was looking for. So then we went over to Sash and Bustle in downtown Toronto, tried on this little purple number. It was kind of like a gray vibe, but really, really cute. Just wasn't the one. This dress though was definitely a top runner up. The thing that I just couldn't get past on this dress was the tears. I love the top, like love, love, love the top and the back and the illusion bodice and how sort of see-through it was with all that bold applique. It was stunning, but I just couldn't get past the ruffled bottom. Say if you were shorter, you could hem it and it could possibly get rid of the high low look in the front it wouldn't be so obvious i just knew that that's all i would be staring at when i got the dress was just these three separate tiers and then the high low in the front okay so, so first you go that way okay you're off get married go go wow oh my god you're making me go to class yeah it's so good <laughs> so now you'll get to see what it's gonna look like with flowers in front of you honey her last and final stop was at Oh Happy Brides, and this is in downtown Toronto. This is where I found the one. It is a Maddie Lane dress from Australia. I loved it. I saw it online. I asked the shopkeeper if she could bring in the sample. So I came into the shop and tried it on. I knew it was the one. I knew that it had the lace. It had the A-line silhouette that I liked. It had sort of mocha colored purpley pink underlining so that the laces really popped. And it had the deep V back that I wanted. She's gonna need you guys at the start oh, of the yeah. aisle. And I just knew overall it was the one and we said yes to the dress. Right then and there on that day, we ended up ordering it in the sparkle tool. So the whole dress had this really nice shimmery silver glitter to it. And then we said yes to the dress. And then a couple months later, the dress came in and I went back to Oh Happy Brides to pick up my wedding dress. I was just in love and I was so excited and it was actually the first time that I got to see the sparkle tool layer in person and it was it was everything I'd ever dreamed of and I loved it and we actually tried it on with a crinoline here but we ended up not using the crinoline on the wedding day we did end up doing some alterations to the dress I dropped the back even more you'll see in my wedding day video and then we also altered the front quite substantially just to fit my body type and it was amazing I loved it so much just picked up my wedding dress at oh happy bride she's right here she's looking great so exciting it's such a cute bridal shop so really exciting moment and that is all the wedding dresses that i tried on to find